Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. So today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to speed up your PC using a tool called msconfig or uh, now system configuration. So if we click on the start menu and type msconfig for configuration, we'll see the desktop app system configuration. You can click on that. Now, we have three different types of startup. Normal startup will load everything on Windows. Diagnostic startup will only load the basic um, devices and services which, which won't really work too well for most cases and then selective startup which is what we're going to use um, we have our boot menu which we can edit advanced boot options like um, booting into safe mode or um, allowing us a different uh, a, a different length for our um, timeout which is basically how long it'll wait for us to press a button to load a install disk or something like that um, when we're booting windows um, so if we go to services, we can see all of these services that are built in our computer. Services are different than applications in that they run in the background and don't show up um, necessarily in the main view in Task Manager. They're just running in the background. Sometimes they're running, sometimes they're not. You can um, click on status up here to sort by which ones are running and which ones aren't. And then you can hide all Microsoft services to ensure that you don't turn off anything you're not supposed to. Then you can look through these and say, okay, um, Asus is my laptop manufacturer, I could leave that. Um, Intel, I trust that. But if I see something that I don't, um, you can click on it and say, well, I don't want this um, running. Um, I want this disabled completely. I never want it to run when, when I start up or I don't want it to run at all. So I can actually uncheck that service and hit apply um, and, and turn that off. But uh, I won't actually do that in this case, but it will speed up your PC if you go through and say, I don't need Rebecca AML. I'm not using that anymore. I do use Plex and Origin and NVIDIA. I don't use Mailbird anymore. Um, so I could actually take those off and speed up my PC. I can also go to startup and um, this is where it used to show up. Now we have to open our task manager to um, get to our startup items. You can also right click on the taskbar and hit task manager here. If we go to startup, you'll see um, what loads when you start up your PC and the startup impact it has, how long it's gonna add to your load time. So if I um, change this to what's enabled, we see I only have M client enabled and the impact is high, so it actually will slow down my PC. I can also choose to have Google Drive enabled, that way as soon as I start my computer, Google Drive or Steam opens, uh, things like that. So um, that's where you can adjust your startup. I just have M client open and that's it. Um, so we can close this and then go back to tools. And then we have our access to various types of tools within Windows. These are all in the command, um, in the control panel, I'm sorry. And um, these are just kind of shortcuts like system information. We can get to it um, the same way that we can get to it in other areas. But um, these are all the resources that they link to. So you can use them much like uh, you used to type in msconfig, you can type in msinfo, all those different ones in here. So um, these are just quick access links to those. But yeah, the ones that you really want to pay attention to, I'd say, are services and turning off any that don't need to be running, as well as startup items in your task manager to ensure that you don't have too many things running in the background. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Peace.